Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Legend of Korra book 1 episode number 11 and 12 and these two are the final episodes of this book. From next uh, week onwards we're going to start book 2. <clears throat> but first let's uh, talk about the previous episodes which is episode number uh, 9 and 10. Episode number 9 we had um, we were continuing from where uh, uh, Korra has been captured and uh, Tarlock is up to you know his own own no good while um Korra used that time to went uh, like you know to to see the vision of a Aang and she was able to figure out a few things number one Yakon is a person of the blood bender who had previous like you know uh squabbles with Aang um he <clears throat> he is the dad of Tarlock and he like, you know he he once did bad stuff like you know, criminal stuff ang stopped him uh, even though he tried to blood bend out of that place but this is ang we're talking about he was able to stop him and took away his bending but he had a son which is starlock and now this starlock is like you know doing these type of things he thinks that his uh dad's way of doing things was wrong so he's doing it in a better way unfortunately that's not true like whatever he's doing, I'm talking about Tarlock, whatever Tarlock is doing as well is also as wrong as the things that, he, that his dad did. Mm, so yeah, he, he get, <laughs> funny thing, he get, you know, all his, like, you know, secret gets uh, revealed by the servant that he had. <laughs> like good for him, he had the courage to actually speak out. And yeah, thank God, like, you know, like he's, his ruse is up. He bloodbended out of that situation for that moment. But he he's a wanted criminal now. He goes back to Korra and sees like you know Amon comes in and Amon like you know like he and Amon fights. Amon takes away his bending, which is I think a good thing you know like no more blood bending thankfully. And Korra is somehow able to use that you know opportunity to just get out of that place. And uh, Naga finds Korra and takes her back. So Korra is safe. Uh, um, um, Tarlock's blood bending is gone. And I don't know what's like, you know, and then Amon is um, doing his own thing. So that was that. That was episode nine. Episode ten, we had uh, Amon attacking. Amon has started his attack, and uh, with the help of Sat uh, Hero Satoshi, uh, Asami's dad, and <clears throat> you know, like the, the like the whole war, like you know, starts and like you know, Tenzin was almost almost getting captured. Thankfully, like the new team avatar was able to help us out, uh, help him out and you know like the, the temple was under attack ling went there ling you know like defended everyone and uh, like you know everyone came in the ba baby was also born and they uh, named him uh, Ro rohan yeah rohan i think yeah um so <clears throat> that was that and uh, then they tried to get out of that place because they're the last airbenders you know like uh, tenzin and his family so Lin was there, Lin, like, you know, then Lin actually, sac not sacrifices as per se, but sacrifices her bending, you know, to protect them. And uh, Amon captures Ling and just takes away her bending, which is sad, like, you know, she, she was one of the best characters and now she doesn't have any bending. But, you know, like, this is Lin we're talking about, I'm sure she'll, even if she doesn't have any bending, I'm sure she'll find her own way to actually, uh, you know, keep doing her police job and, you know. Uh, capture criminals stuff like that and yeah and uh cora and uh like you know cora uh, marco bolin and uh, sami they're all like you know they also kind of took that opportunity to run away so yeah let's see what happens now so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 11 of uh the legend of cora book one so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> okay let's yep Yeah. 
Oh yeah, this Iro, this okay. I forgot about him for a second. Skeletons in the closet. What? Oh great. Wow. How dare you? I'm I'm gonna slap him on how Yo, this guy needs to go down. Samon. How dare he put a mask on Aang's face? Okay, is this isn't someone in disguise? I think so. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Well, uh. oh my god, I'm a Asani. Oh. Who the? Oh, it's that guy, you remember from episode one or something? The fish guy. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Assam is not impressed. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bob was just. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. What? Oh my god, this guy. Marco, make up your mind. Wow. <laughs> I'm f okay. Anyways, let's, let's. like make up your damn mind, guy. Like this, he. Uh, I, I don't know. Who the hell is this? Who is this? Oh my god, they're just... Wow, they... Oh god. <clears throat> Alright, what do we do? Oh, they're waiting for the okay. Wait, really? <laughs> okay, yes. Nice. Okay, hopefully this works. His voice is very not. Oh my god, what's happening? Did they like... What? Oh no, some... Underneath? Oh my god. Oh no. 
No, it's a trap, not a trick. Ooh, damn! Ha! Is this Zuko's voice? Whoa! Oh no, these are- oh my god, they have airplanes as well! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Wow! Now what? <clears throat> Look at him! <laughs> oh my god, great! Well, what do we do now? Like... Oh no! Oh! Great. Like... Ah. Uh. Yeah, these are too fast. I don't think. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay, at least got one. Yeah, yeah, like, come on. Like Okay. Nice. Oh, what's she doing? Oh. Yes. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, things are looking kind of good now. Hopefully. Oh my god, there's too many of them. Oh. <clears throat> okay, got two of them. Oh no, oh no! Oh my god! Okay, Cora. Yeah, there you go. I think this is Zuko's voice actor, isn't it? I might be wrong though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh. Wait, who? Brod? Oh, wait. Ang's son's name is Boomy? Uh, it, it does make sense because. Damn, this guy. Hmm.
<laughs> yeah. Oh boy. What? Oh. Oh, okay. But... I don't... Oh my god. Yo. Ah. Well. All right. <laughs> the school is crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, okay, never mind. I don't really know what the hell this guy is thinking. But you know what? Let's just ignore that. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, let's go bring down Hiro Satoshi. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, we need to bring him down first because. Oh no, they're going to Amon. Oh, sorry, I forgot it. Okay, anyway, never mind. Okay. Um. Nah, we were transferred, so... Okay. Oh. Nice. Okay, hopefully no one's just waiting. Oh boy. Who is this? Oh. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> Well, at least it's harmless now. What? Bro. Wait, so... Oh my god. What is happening? How... how is he... Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. No attack. <clears throat> oh, but
Great. Hmm. Oh, great. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Great. Another crazy dad. Oh boy. <clears throat> My God. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Any time. How? Oh, mo yeah, more cracked, I guess. Oh my god, Rick. Wow. All of them. What? My God, what type of fur? Oh. Oh God, I hate these type of people who just can't get their past away from them and tries to just force it on their children. Like what the hell? Damn. I wonder why he became a mom then. Oh my god. Yo. Why not bloodbend you? Like, you know? What about you yourself? Like. You know what would be funny if 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 uh, Noatak starts bloodbending him? That'll be funny. Okay, come on, Noatak. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Shut up, look this guy. Yeah, how, like, how does it feel now getting this? Uh. True. Yeah, for your own. This. Yeah, this. This trash, this guy.
Oh boy. Okay, so I wonder how he learned about uh, taking the bending away. That how's that? Yeah, good gone. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. Like, what? Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, did he tell him? Oh. oh okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, um, uh, like... Okay, I'll talk about it later. Um, so how do we use that? Okay, but, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, like he'll get uh, alerted. Well, at least Arlog did something to help us. That's good. <clears throat> oh, that's the end. Okay, that was uh, this episode. This was episode 11. Yeah. All right. So here in this episode, um, quite a few things happens. Uh, number one, we are currently like, you know, running away. Uh, we still don't know what happened to Tenzin. Where did they go or whatever? But I'm sure they're somewhere, you know probably trying to uh, get away from their pursuers and uh, yeah and, and and they'll probably lay low until and unless this whole thing goes down um, okay uh, we all right so we are currently like you know trying to see what's uh, happening like you know Cora uh, uh, and Marco they're kind of going out occasionally to see what's happening outside and like we see that like the equalists have taken control of all all of everything amon is just like you know lining up people to take their bending away like one by one like my god <laughs> and <clears throat> like we are underground and we we meet that guy again who we met in the first episode the one with the fish <laughs> uh, and he says how everyone here is like benders and non-benders and just like you know living normally like you know harmoniously and <clears throat> yeah so that was that and then like you know we oh and then the whole thing with oh my god the whole drama is still ongoing like i like you know what i feel like this needs to stop now you know this whole marco the cora and asami th this this mess like just just make up your damn mind marco and just like you know like just just go for one one person <laughs> like like he he's just like you know hanging like you know both of them like and like asami can't say anything can't do anything Korra can, can't say anything can't do anything while well, he's just like unable to make up his mind like oh boy like god damn like i don't know what to say but you know what like this episode kind of like you know i think this made us this episode showed us like yeah like the whole thing with the samis probably won't won't be back anymore like 
he he he's probably like later on i'm sure like you know and probably the next season or maybe this season only he's going to tell asami that yeah like um i'm i'm with Korra or something like that i i think that's probably going to happen that's how it's kind of going you know in that direction so like i really hope something happens you know like like let this drama end my god oh like the awkwardness is killing us like you know like whenever there's something related to mako asami and Korra, the awkwardness is just kill <laughs> it's so unusual like you know like three of them cannot do anything without being awkward around each other like just just end this please my god oh and um, I, and marco's probably the only one who can end this like you know like i i don't see any other way this can end but yeah all right uh, anyways enough about marco <laughs> and um like i like everything about that guy about marco except that thing the the, the 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 mess that he's putting everyone in like you know the whole drama like i really don't like that like he's like other than that if you actually take that part out of him you know other than that he's a, he's a pretty nice guy he's a pretty cool guy he's like you know he he's good but but that one thing is really i don't know i it, it really annoys me it's, it's kind of annoying me now like him actually like you know not saying anything and just stringing together both of them and just like not coming into a decision like what is wrong with you just like you know Ugh. anyways um <clears throat> okay and then the whole thing with iro starts now we still don't know who iro is who is he like, you know like i i feel like he's somehow related to uh, zuko but i don't know uh who knows maybe in the future we'll get to know what his actual identity is so yeah we'll have to wait hope probably okay um iroh's uh you know sheep and like you know the, his whole fleet comes in and amon is ready about everything like you know he brings out the planes and the like you know the the mines and everything and just starts destroying everything and it took them by surprise, complete surprise, obviously. That's why at the beginning, they weren't able to do anything. Like a lot of their ships just went down in the beginning. And then when they were able to realize what the hell is happening and they started attacking, I'm talking about uh, Iroh's forces, <coughs> it was too late. A lot of their ships were actually gone down and they had a lot of airplanes, as we could see. And they're just like, you know, coming and just bombing them down. So yeah, uh, still they were able to deal a fair bit amount of damage, but all of their most of the ships are just gone, and even uh, Iro just fell out. Uh, Korra helped her him out, and uh, yeah, took him in to the underground hideout. Okay, and um, he he did like and then like you know the, um, send a message to his other reinforcements not to come currently, and. <clears throat> Okay, one thing we got to know here, Tenzin's brother, which is which means obviously Ang's son, is Boom called Boomy. So I guess like you know Ang, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ang uh, gave one of his sons name Boomy, and uh, I don't know if they have any other siblings or not. Uh, but I did like you know in, I think in one of the episodes I did hear that other than Tenzin's there were siblings plural so i think there are maybe more siblings so i don't like you know like we'll probably get to meet them like we met tenzin i'm sure we'll meet, meet bumi as well in the future but yeah anyways um so yeah they, they send the message don't approach the city this and that and then they are making out of a making out a plan like what should we do we should go to hiroshi as well uh, uh not hero no, Hiro. His name was Hiro, wasn't it? Or was it Hiroshi? Anyways, um, I'm talking about Asami's dad. Uh, we go to him. They cannot stop him and his airplanes and all that stuff. And uh, Kora is like, and I'll go to Amon. So, like, their plan was not to split up, as uh, Iroh said. But because Kora said that, yeah, I, I need to go and deal with Amon as soon as possible. Uh, and Mark was like, yeah, I'll go with you. And... Iro was like, you know what? Okay, go ahead, and but and we'll deal with uh, Asami's dad here. So yeah, we still don't know what happened to Asami's group. I'm sure we'll get to know in the next episode. But here we get like you know our our viewpoint shifts to Korra and Mako. 
they infiltrate the air temple and uh, <coughs> you know like we meet Tarlock and here a lot of secrets gets revealed uh, how Yakon uh, went to the northern water tribe started a family and uh, how Amon is actually um, Tarlock's brother um, all right so okay wait a minute what was the name just a sec no attack yeah no attack that was amon's actual name <coughs> so yeah and then like you know then uh, we see how yakon again like you know like just like one of those uh like you know useless fathers in anime you know who just can't are not able to uh, you know like you know do something in their life and they just try to push everything down their son or daughter's throat and just like you know pushes them to do something that they're not comfortable to do and just abuses them in that process like you know just like a lot of anime fathers we've seen and not only fathers mothers as well there are like you know parents like this in anime we've seen quite a lot of them and uh, yeah he's like one of them and uh, he's like oh like you know like you have to do this you have to bring like you know make my wish come true this that blah 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 i wasn't able to do it you have to do it this and that like my god and like you know he starts teaching them blood bending and then you know like it was, it was, it was uncomfortable the way they were like you know controlling those wolves and everything like my god like how sick you have to be to just you know like allow your children to do that and like not allow but like it's not even the children's fault it, it was because of him like you know if you're cold like he taught them to be like this like oh my god oh, I, like I, I have nothing to say like and i was kind of surprised to see that amon was the one who actually became more uh apathetic towards this whole situation and um like you know like how he changed i th i thought it it would be different i thought like you know the way this was going i thought uh, 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 amon would be like uh, or notak would be like the one who would oppose them or something and oppose this whole thing and you know that's why he now nowadays he's like oh like you know equality this that because he got affected by the whole thing of his dad so he he strives for equality now i thought it would be something like that but turns out it's not something like that it's a little bit different but still the same uh he he became more apathetic towards this whole thing more like you know emotionless as time went on and like i knew this was going to happen like he was somehow going to turn on his dad and thank god he did that you know like uh, that guy need, like needed to, to be taught a lesson this is a cone like even after ang took away his bending and you know like um like he he even settled down i thought maybe he's going to become a good person when you know when they were showing that part where he, they said that he went to the uh, water tribe and he settled down i was like okay maybe maybe in his future years you know maybe he actually became a good person oh no oh <laughs> he like you know like he he, he reverts back to this his old old self again oh my god and like you know like uh, as they say like you know like he he wasn't able to let his past just go and just you know just go away but he, he kept clinging to that and not only that he even involved his children into it and mistreated them because of that so yeah good thing that uh amon actually gave him what he deserved at that moment and he, amon was like you know what you're saying that blood bending is the most powerful but i i see that you don't have any bending and ang or the avatar took away your bending so obviously blood bending is not the most strongest thing in this world the tr strongest thing is the ability to take bending away that's the strongest so you're lying <laughs> like just <laughs> blatantly in front of his <laughs> face he just says that and he's like yeah like i'm out <laughs> just goes away amon just goes away and Talok didn't go because he wanted to keep, uh, you know, uh, keep an eye on their mom. And after that, obviously, yeah, like they say that Talok, uh, not Talok, sorry, uh, um, Yakon, 
Yakon lost all his his revenge or something that thing like but it was too late like you, you, like look what you've done like you've 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 created a monster you know which is Amon now who will like look at him what he's doing nowadays and just like and then he and then he dies like great oh my god like uh, i don't know man like this this is like messed up okay um so <clears throat> so it turns out i kind of said this before i i was like you know like i really don't <laughs> like tarlock uh, unless and until some kind of like you know uh, flashback recollection happens which actually shows us what is like you know shows us his past i probably won't change my you know mind but now as i can see like you know like as, as we can see like you know his actual past his story like, i can say that you know what talok was bad he's not the worst you know amon is bad but he's not the worst the worst is obviously yakon so yeah i like you know like the like like yeah like it is the truth like yakon was the one who's the one is at real fault like these two were just children they just grew up they were how they were brought up with you know like the way they were brought up they grew up to be that person and the person who brought them up was yakon so they turned out to be twisted like this uh, amon become a bit more twisted while tarlock kind of became twisted but was able to kind of Stop himself by the end i guess you know because now he it, it does seem like he's uh, like you know suffering and like you know repenting for it so yeah good for him at least he was able to get back his humanity by the end so yeah now <clears throat> yeah and then like that means okay so here's the thing the the thing that uh tarlock says to us is that he somehow Amon somehow was able to use blood bending to make uh like you know to take others bending away now if you think about it in a little like you know in, in this way like blood bending is something that you can use to you know like manipulate your blood so maybe it also is somehow related to you know like i don't know like to your bending or somehow he's able to like you know tap in tap into your bending using a blood bending and take the bending away or something like it it, it would make sense you know uh because uh like we don't even know where the bending comes from and how ang was able to take away bending so maybe he was somehow able to find that path through blood bending to tap into that bending and take it away somehow you know or maybe do something to it which messes with it and stops the floor or something i don't know so yeah it, it 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 would make sense like you know like he's using blood bending to do this which is interesting like he so that means he he basically became uh like a discoverer of a new way to take away bending which is kind of impressive i have to say but yeah we'll we'll have to wait for the next episode to see what this actually is but yeah and okay so the new plan that uh, uh marco and uh cora comes up with is that <clears throat> they are going to expose this in front of everyone in in the rally so that he's he's a bender so i don't know how this is going to go and whether the people are even going to believe them they they need to see some uh, hard uh, like you know proof in front of their eyes so yeah let's see what happens in the next episode uh, if it even works or not you know this this plan that they're coming up with like the equalist excuse me they seems very quite loyal to um amon so i don't know we'll see <clears throat> all right so um that was episode 11 so let's start with episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this book so yeah without further ado let's get started this is a, uh, this is episode number 12 of the legend of Korra, book one so i'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one go
Hmm. Oh yeah, this thing. Oh Hiroshi, yeah, not Hiro, Hiroshi. End game, okay. All right, there we are. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> All right. Oh my God, yo! What the? Oh my god. Oh, that scared me. Okay, let's... There he is, Amon. <clears throat> okay. Lies. Wow, what a lie. <coughs> He's like, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> He's like, wait, is that real? <laughs> Shut up. Damn. Okay. What? What's what? What? No, maybe that's just makeup. Like, I don't know. Okay. Oh no, wait, they got caught. Oh my god. And they're captured as well. Oh god. I don't think so. Shut my god, all these dads in this in this show are just crazy. Like is there any decent father in this show? Uh, obviously Ang was a good one. Oh, nice. Okay, Pabu. Oh, there you go, metal bending. <laughs> Naga's good at it.
Oh my god. Uh, can she control them? I think so. <clears throat> Ooh! Ah, nice! <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay, at least he had a parachute. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, shut Marco. Oh god. Okay. Nice. All right, come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Then, then, yeah, let's like, help us. There you go. There you go. What will you do in long range, huh? Ah, yes. And he can't use his water bending because he's looking in front of all those people. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, all right. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no, yeah, he can. Oh boy. No, he can you easily blood bend two of them at the same time. Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh boy. Oh no, he's going to. Okay, come on. Something. Wait, what? Did, she, did he really? Did he really take away her bending? Oh, what? The, how, how's that? Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> yes. Ha! Huh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Jump. Oh no, he doesn't even have a parachute. What now? Oh, he can just blast his way. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. <laughs> Firebenders don't need parachute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, oh. All right, time to change the plane. Just, just shoot it. Yeah, just shoot it. Yeah, there you go. Fool. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no, Ang's face. Ang's face is going to. Oh my god. So... Oh, thank god. The mask just. Okay. Nice. There you go.
Uh. Oh, damn. Naga. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Are you stupid? This guy is. What is all the dads in this show, except Ang, are so <coughs> um. So delusional. Oh my god. What the? Yo, someone, someone put this guy in prison. What? What is like? How can people change like this? I don't understand. Even in in, in front of the children, like, what is wrong? Okay. Did he really take away her bending? Okay. Yeah, he, he saw it. Wait, who is this? He can just blood bend you, dude. Oh god. Oh boy. Yes! Okay, thank god. Okay, this guy needs to be taught a lesson now. Oh boy, like what's Cora going to do now if, if her bending is really taking away? Oh god, cursed blood bending, my... Okay, another lightning bolt. Oh god. Oh, air bending. Oh yeah, he did not have her air bending with her. So if he can she can air bend. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is this is help now. Just don't give him the time to just blood bend. Oh boy. Yes. All right, you need to water bend now if you want to get out. Oh, needs to. It is makeup. It is makeup, I think. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, it is makeup. I was... Oh. Yeah, just don't let him get away. This guy is... Oh my god, he's running away. Oh, great. A blood band and... Oh, god. Oh, he's back here. <coughs> Yeah, what? Again? Oh my god. Come on, dialogue, don't. Oh yeah, what about her bending? Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Wait, this guy's Vumi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just seems like Vumi. So. <laughs> oh. oh my god, they're really. Oh god, shut up. Okay, yeah, just zap him, you know. <laughs> I think he's going to do that. Yep. What's that? Oh my god, yo, he blew up the... Sh Damn. Oh my god. I thought he was just going to zap him or something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, what can he did she do now? Is she's supposed to be the after, so Oh my god. Ugh. Oh yeah, this is uh I, I forgot for a moment that this is Okay. What? Um okay. Oh boy, like 
I guess it is peace time now. Like she, like I don't know. I don't think she needs to master all the elements because everything's on in peace. I hope, hope so. Oh yeah, she's supposed to be the avatar, so... Who the... Oh damn! Zang! Yo! Wait! Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and she can airbend now, so maybe that's why Aang is coming? Oh, there you go! Everyone's here. Wait, can he? Did he return the bending to her? Okay, she can go into avatar state now. Yes, there you go. The bending is back. Okay, nice. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Well. Okay. I wonder what they're going to do now like she has all the elements with her now and wait what can she give back bending just like that just like Ang did to him oh my god yo so she can return the bending to everyone who lost it yeah oh boy wow okay I was not expecting this thing I really was not expecting this. Okay. Wow, it seems like, yeah, like that's the end. Okay. So wait, so book two, I wonder what's going to happen now. Like, it feels like <laughs> the whole story ended or something. <laughs> okay, it, it did end. The whole story did end. Like, you know, the whole um, book one. But I feel like the whole, you know, the whole story and like, <laughs> Korra knows all the elements now, can bend every element. And Tarlock and um, Amon is dead, I think, most probably, because I don't think they're coming back from that blast. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah okay um <coughs> so this episode this was um what do you call it uh this is episode number 12 the final episode of book one and uh, yeah it was a good finale and uh we see them you know like uh, on their own like you know fighting on their own battles uh, asami uh um, bolin and uh, iroh they are they were towards they were going towards hiroshi and while obviously like you know like uh, Mako and Korra they were going towards uh, Amon and <clears throat> first of all um, Asami and her crew gets zapped out and just, you know get knocked out <laughs> like that that part that part really surprised me like I was I, I was <laughs> it took me by surprise like when suddenly that you know that thing just zapped them like damn like I <laughs> I kind of like uh, became uh, like you know got frightened for a little bit. It's like a jump scare came up, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, um, the next part uh, uh, in the next scene we see like Cora trying to um, uh, bring out the fact that she uh, Amon is a waterbender in front of everybody, 
But now here's the thing, uh, when he takes out the mask, um, I knew like it was either like a makeup or he somehow got hurt in some other way and he's just using this, you know, in front of everyone for his advantage. And uh, turns out it was makeup actually, by the end we see. And he just, like Korra says so many things, you know, and he just takes off his mask and shows makeup to everyone and everyone is like oh look at him yeah obviously he like you know this is uh, amon we're talking about he wouldn't lie to us this and that like oh boy like like how like that's how much he manipulated the people here by like you know saying like nice nice things to them like yeah we're going to make a, pl a place a world where there is no inequality this that blah 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 and just ah oh boy i don't know what his actual plan was you know like what he would have done would he really was he really like trying to make a place which was like um you know like what can i say like did not have any type of um power you know like diff like you know what you call it, power contracts like everyone was same everyone was equal was he really trying that because i don't know like i feel like like you know like th this is like a thing like it, it does seem sound nice that yeah everyone will be equal but i feel like like if everyone you know like if everyone is just the same you know no one has extra like you know talent or no one like everyone's talent level is the same everyone is like you know just the same if that happens i think the world will probably stop like you know just you know advancing i feel like that and that's a dangerous thing like like he just took away everyone's bending to make everyone equal like i don't know i feel like like this was a really weird way of him actually trying to do stuff but i guess like you know like just he's as twisted as his dad so this is his own twisted way in doing things but yeah anyways um and then we see he actually got tenzin and the, and his family like which is a surprise i was not expecting that and then we shift back to asami's you know like thing again and where hiroshi comes and says a bunch of like you know like things like oh like i'm doing this for our mother uh, your mother this and that you ungrateful child this and that like oh my god like uh, like i feel like the <laughs> All the dads, except a few of them, obviously, as I said, like, you know, like Aang, for example, Aang, and maybe a few others as well, I don't remember. But most of the dads in this, in, in this show are just, just trash. Like, what is wrong with them? Like, first in, in, in Avatar The Last Airbender, it was Ozai, and now, like, there's this guy, there's, there's Yakon, like, my god, oh, And, like, I don't know, like... Like, now, people might say, you know, people might say that, oh, he became, like, you know, uh, like, grief-stricken after his, like, you know, uh, what do you call it, after his wife's death, this and that. People might say that, and I do agree with that, but, you know, like, I cannot agree with the fact that he was actually ready to hurt his daughter just because he was clinging to his past. Like, that's unacceptable, in my opinion. How, However grief-stricken you are, like, you know, like, he, he deserved everything that he got after that. And I, I'm happy with that, you know. Like, um, like I, I don't care. Like, I don't care if he's grief stricken. And like, he, he, he decided to, uh, you know, like, uh, attack his daughter. Because he, she, she wasn't doing the way he, he was trying to do things. Like, that's, that's unexcusable. And I'm glad he got what he, I don't know what he, what would happen to him. Probably, he was probably arrested or something. And I, I really hope, like, you know, like, he, he stays in prison for quite a long time. I, I don't want to see him back again. Like, like this Hiroshi, my, my god. <clears throat> Anyways, um, but yeah. Okay, uh, that was that. And then, like, you know, like, we see, like, they're just behind prison. <laughs> I was like, does anyone know metal bending here? <laughs> and in comes Naga with his metal bending. Just bended the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they took them outside <laughs> oh, oh boy and okay and uh, then we get to get back to Amon's thing you know uh, where Korra and Mako starts fighting back against Amon and 
saves Tenzin, all of them. Tenzin is Tenzin goes to save his family, while Mako and Korra fights Amon. And here's where the big thing happens, you know, like he starts bloodbending and we see, like I think this is the first time we see Amon bloodbending. And he he actually take away takes away Korra's bending, which is something I was really not expecting. You know, I I was like like in my mind there was it was like yeah if bending is taken away it can't be brought back that's why I was like yeah obviously like you know Korra's bending cannot be taken away he's she's the avatar you know like so when they actually took her bending away I was like wait a minute so like, like what's going to happen now like bending cannot be brought back as far as I I knew and so Korra's bending is gone so what's she going to do so. <clears throat> That was really surprised. Like that really <coughs> surprised me. But um, yeah, and <clears throat> okay. And on on the other side, we are seeing like you know all of them are fighting Hiroshi and you know uh, Asami. They were fighting Naga is also out. Like you know, kind of helping us out doing this and that. <laughs> and uh, as I said, like you know, like here again, Hiroshi tries to harm Asami, which is something that is like you know I I I I'm I'm not listening to anything you know. Like, I'm not listening to anything. Like, people might say that, oh, he's a grief stick and this and that. No, I don't care. I don't care. He 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 tried to hurt his own own daughter, and I don't care. Like, you know, like he whatever happened, whatever, like you know, sob story he might have. I'm I'm not interested. Like how like you know, why? Like, you know, like uh, what type of a father is is he that he he forgot about like you know his his her own daughter because she he's so uh like you know uh infatuated with his past like but yeah so um obviously like you know uh, by the end of it uh asami is able to like you know overpower him and defeat him so yeah that's good bowling also helps and yeah and then in the next part uh again uh, we go back to amon's part uh the the, the lieutenant i think that's what they called him he got to know that uh, yeah, he's actually lying. Amon's lying. So, and Amon starts bloodbending each and every one of them. Marco is somehow able to, like, you know, zap him out of that and take Korra and kind of tries to run away. But, you know, Amon, again, bloodbending. And it's a, it's a really annoying, like, you know, like, technique, like, bloodbending. Like, to stop any everyone from doing anything like that's annoying really annoying and <clears throat> he just blood vents again where this is the first time we see uh, Korra actually unlocking her air bending and um now she when her bending was taking away she did not know air bending so air bending is something that got unlocked within her for the first time so that's why she could use the air bending as far as i could understand and that's how he he excuse me that's how she was able to attack um name amon amon and just blow him out of that place he falls into the water <laughs> and his makeup goes away I'm like <laughs> my god i i i was not expecting him to be exposed like that you know like all the people are just standing outside and um he, his makeup is gone he, he just comes on on top using like you know water bending just comes out of the water and everyone's at the beginning everyone was like oh evil like you know avatar is evil this and that like oh boy and then they see a mon like that and then they realize what an idiot they have been like my god <laughs> and Amon runs away like what else could he even do at that moment <clears throat> okay and uh, uh, then we see like you know after that we see like he go back to Tarlock and he says that okay Tarlock let's get out of here now here's where I was thinking like when Tarlock took that uh, you know like that that gloves that electric gloves I thought he was going to zap him or something and probably surrender or something like you know bring them back and probably give themselves up and surrender i thought he was going to do something like that i was not expecting him blowing up the whole ship but yeah like 
nothing we can do about it <clears throat> so i i i think they're dead i think so like, i don't think they're coming back from that but yeah anyways okay uh, and and they don't and uh, like you know Quora doesn't even know this happened like no one knows that they're dead so it'll be kind of like yeah they're missing or something like that <clears throat> but yeah anyways unless and until their bodies are found okay and um oh and then here we meet boomy and funny thing <laughs> boomy's personality is actually like boomy <laughs> you know the way he's so hyperactive and everything <laughs> i'm looking forward to the next step i'm sure the, in the next episode in book two book episode one we're going to see boomy and i'm looking forward to meeting him <laughs> oh boy and yeah and then we come back to that scene you know like uh where katara tries to heal Korra, but unfortunately he's unable to do it and Korra just goes out and she's crying she's like what am i supposed to do now i only know airbending and suddenly ang just pops out <laughs> Ang's like hi you called me <laughs> and he says that when we hit our lowest point we're open to the greatest change okay and we see every all the other avatars behind him and they just um <clears throat> no, unlock not unlock but gives her back her bending gives Cora back her bending and uh, yeah so um, yeah like I, it does kind of make sense i guess you know since this is ang we are talking about this is the avatar uh, the past avatar forms like uh, if anyone's supposed to be able to give back bending to Korra it's I guess it's it's Aang because Aang is the one who was able to unlock that whole thing of taking bending away so maybe he can also give bending back just like that so and and, and that and in that process I think Korra herself also got to know got to learn how to give people's bending back so she after that we see her giving Lin back her bending as well which is good so she can just give back the bending to everyone who has lost it so yeah that's good and here we another thing happens which is like Marco and Cora you know like Marco confesses thank god like at least he made up his mind you know <laughs> like god like just, just stringing Asami all along and uh, yeah like I feel bad for Asami that's just it and yeah like you know like you know what um like i was you know like the like in 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 avatar the last airbender katara and ang's relationship it was such such a great thing like you know it, it was such a great uh, scene in the final episode uh, in the, of the final season where they actually like you know confessed and they became <coughs> like, you know like <coughs> katara accepted like it was such a happy scene and everything you know like i, I was just waiting for that I'm, I'm sure everyone was waiting for that and you know like i'm, I'm sure everyone was happy but I, I i cannot feel any happiness for Cora and marco here i cannot like first of all it feels hella rushed like what the hell was that and in 12 episodes like i don't know what happened this is like a whole like you know teenage drama situation going on for five for half of the episodes it was drama and like then this whole marco's situation of marco being unable to make up his mind it, it was so like you know like i don't know it was so annoying it was so baffling like one moment i was actually like you know what can i say like uh cheering for um, marco and asami then suddenly i see like marco himself is not even uh, like you know ready to accept the relationship and then he himself is confused and then again like Cora and Marco like like it's a mess it was a mess like I feel like this 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 part like this uh, rom romance part of like you know Cora was done very badly and I'm, I'm not happy with that at all I, I did not like like as, like as a character Marco is okay but I, I don't like him as like this and like it, it felt extremely rushed and this this is i i i felt no happiness in in the last scene where we actually see marco confessing nothing i'm i'm just like okay just let's just get this over with like enough is enough like i don't know if it's, if this is just me but i felt like that you know like katara and ang was such such a great like you know thing and i feel like that that thing worked out because it was done in 
little little like you know way like her, their relationship actually grew each and every season in little little way it was not rushed like this and this is weird and i don't know what's going to happen in the upcoming three seasons are left so what's going to happen with within that like um i don't know if like you know like the whole thing with Assam is going to be a problem later on or not since uh you know i don't know like so yeah i'm 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 not really happy with this this whole thing <clears throat> but yeah good for them i guess <sighs> so yeah like everything was great i i have to say like i i loved uh, like the legend of Korra. the first book was fantastic i loved it you know like i've i've heard a lot of people actually saying that oh Korra is bad like you know it's, it has it holds no candle to avatar um i I have to say, like, yeah, I also agree with that. Avatar The Last Airbender was, like, you know, was really good. But this is barely the start. You know, like, this is the first season only. Like, we still have three more seasons left. So I'm not going to make that decision unless and until I see all the seasons. And after that, I probably will be able to make, a, like, you know, comparison. Which is good, which is better, this and that. But, like, you know, like, people saying that, oh, this is bad. Like, I've seen a lot of people actually really hating on The Legend of Korra. Like, I was actually surprised. And I am surprised still. Like, how can people hate this? I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm, I'm re I've really liked season one, the first book. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm really like, and I'm sure it, it's going to get better in the upcoming seasons. Because, uh, like, you know, like, the first season is usually kind of clunky even in avatar as well because it's where you get introduced to all the characters and get used to them so afterwards the upcoming episodes gets better and better so i'm sure Korra will also be something like that it'll get better in book two book three and book four as well so yeah i'm sure it'll get better and uh, like season one i liked it very much so i'm really looking forward to the upcoming season but that's just the story I did not like the, as I said, the, the whole Mako, Korra, Sami thing, I did not like it at all. It, it, it was frustrating, it was, like, I don't know, it, it was kind of weird. <laughs> and I really hope they actually took that time to do that. They did not, like, you know, they, they just tried to rush everything, the whole, uh, you know, like, that part, the Sami, Korra, and the Mako part, they tried to rush that, I feel like and uh yeah who knows maybe maybe in the upcoming books upcoming seasons maybe they're going to flesh it out more so yeah I'm, i'll be waiting for that so anyways let's that was it guys that was this episode this was um the ending of book one of the legend of Korra. so yeah um i liked it fantastic you know um yeah and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the upcoming books as well which i'm going to react to from the next week so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to the legend of Korra book one episode number 11 and 12 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh, next week with two more episodes of the legend of Korra so until then goodbye and have a nice day